everybody. It's Charlie Matthews here at the uh, Texas A&M Pump and Turbo Symposium. That's TPS for y'all that aren't following the new brand, TPS, okay? Uh, so here with a friend that I've known for over 15 years now. So introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Andy Martin. I'm glad to be here at my 15th or 16th Pump Symposium. I, I've lost count, mm -hmm. but you've been our constant here for the yeah. last 15 years. Yeah, so it's been really fun. Mm -hmm. uh, you're one of the, the people that most uh, most people in the industry go to when they when they need to solve a problem. Well, thank you. And uh, one of the things that, you know, for me, I always wanted to speak at uh, this event. Mm -hmm. And I remember this um, situation in particularly where I got up there as one of my first events uh, to speak on the turbo stage. And I remember that. Yes. And so uh, <laughs> I was totally nervous, uh, like I am probably right now. But um, the thing after doing that, right, we have to force ourselves to learn kind of why we come to events. Yeah. Uh, so it was my first speech. I get off the stage and you hand me that diamond, which was y'all's, you know, promotional giveaway yeah. at the time. Diamond, uh, diamond coated. Our seal face is diamond coated and we gave you acrylic diamonds away. They were just massive, like that's right. 20 carats. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> right. Uh, kept it forever. Which world doesn't right? love that? That's right. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, it stands out and it shows that you, uh, you do care about helping the industry and helping mm -hmm. people grow. So, um, you know, just tell us a little bit about the, the industry for you. What a great, uh, what a, this is, uh, we were talking a little bit earlier about this turbo machinery pump symposium being a conduit where like minded technical professionals come together irrespective of, you know, competitor or whatever, mm -hmm. co competitor customer, all in one place where you get to see all this like super cool stuff happen. Yes. Just like this. This is super cool. But new pumps, uh, uh, new uh, dynamics, new hydraulics on stuff that you can see, get your hands on, actually walk around, put your hands on it, talk to a, a professional mm -hmm. and pretty much experts, but right. on the show floor, but you go upstairs and you get in the discussion groups, you get in the technical sessions where like your head's going to explode. There's so much knowledge in that room. Right. And this is the only time you get to do that. And it brings those kids in, right? So yes. Texas A&M University kids are going to be well, kids. Right. Students, right. Yeah, right. Well, they look like kids to they, me. They feel like kids yeah. to us because we've right. been here, you know, so long. But, but they're getting their engineering degree and they're coming out. And you know, the, the turbo machinery people do a, a bang up job getting this stuff done. I mean, yes. it's just what it, it, it's cool just to walk around here and see how it changes every year. Yeah. So uh, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about was has the industry changed? I know we sat around a table uh, one time at dinner uh, with the staff here and. You know, we said, how can we make this industry more attractive? And you know, what what's going to be the next thing for the industry? So, what do you feel has happened um, for making this industry grow? Um, bigger, faster. Um, you look at the industry today; it's it's conglomerates buying other conglomerates to become larger organizations to get more product upstream to the midstream to the downstream. So that requires bigger pumps bigger pipelines, faster deadlines. So how you control your supply chain and get that stuff to the end user in the most expeditious fashion possible is the biggest change that's happening now. So you see a lot of vertically uh, companies going vertically integrated that they control their whole uh, supply chain from start to finish so they are not beholden to an outside vendor to get stuff to the customer. So speed, quality, um, and price. I guess those are the big things that are driving the industry right now. Right, and I love how you said it's all about the customer, and mm. we have to, as marketers, really think about the customer right. and uh, you know how do we reach all those different segments with the correct information. Uh, and so I know uh, we were at the marketing meetup last year, and, mm. and there's one on Thursday for everyone who's here on yes. Thursday. Yes, Brian Bearden's coming in. Yes, Ooh. and I, I do love Brian. He, yeah. he does a great job. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so looking forward to that. And then um, kind of any tips for people in marketing? Yeah, I, I'd say walk a mile in the customer's shoes. Um, it's great to talk about your stuff, speed, temperature, pressure, whatever metallurgy you're using. But if that's not applicable to the end user or the customer, uh, it, it's fallen on deaf ears. So quit the self-talk and talk more about how you're solving customer problems and getting getting product to the customer, right? So yeah, and what so, are you doing to, to affect that change, right? Right, and I was talking to someone earlier about uh, engineering 
and, and if you're in, a, you know, want to solve problems, engineering is a great place for you, right? Oh and yeah. This place is filled with engineers you yeah. know, looking to solve problems, and then also designing the solutions, uh, which I think is really neat. So. Yeah, and if you can juggle, like EPC companies, it, you could be a great engineer, but if you can't manage the front end and the back end, mm -hmm. you got issues. So, it, it's a good learning field for people to come in and understand the whole process of how uh, it comes together, right? Right. So w one of the, my favorite things about being here is you get to see the equipment. You get yeah. to ask about it hands-on. Hands on, yeah. Yes. And so it is like, you think back 15 years, right? My very first show and I'm walking around and I'm like, what is this? And that yeah. was one of my favorite well, things now you to know, ask. Right? Yeah, I get to say, yeah. hey, know, that's a turbo expander. Right? Oh, exactly, right? <laughs> exactly. And so, you know, for me, seals that, you know, and being able to look at seals and, and kind of figure out that, you know, it really does have a lot of different elements to this little simple seal. So that was pretty huge yeah. for me. Um, and then, you know, going all the way to now pumps and kind yeah. of the pumps that, uh, that you're here representing. But upstairs, it's all that theory stuff. They're talking about applications and theory and, you know, uh, throughput and all that kind of fluidics and tribology and all that stuff. And it's all theory and it's all big math kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. it's like engineering manna, right? Yeah. So they love that. But then you come down here and here's all the practical stuff. Mm -hmm. Here's where the rubber's hitting the road and you get to talk to the people that have been there, done it, yeah. you know, got the t-shirt and like, yeah, yeah, we put that pump in that application and it worked fine for a while until we found out that you know, blah, 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 right, so. So I'll put you on the spot, so, uh, uh, yeah, exactly. So, here we go. Uh, yeah, I'm out of you know, diamond. I don't have any I more diamonds on me. <laughs> I think I owe you a diamond this time. Uh, so, so basically, you know, with the, the knowledge gap that we hear about mm, and everything, yeah. and, and kind of people retiring, I've seen a lot of people kind of staying on and helping, but what what else can we do in, in that area? This is, a, I, think, I think turbo machinery is doing a bang up job because this whole grandfathering thing, because people, we, I know people that have worked 30 years, right. 40 years, right. and they're in the same company doing the same thing over mm -hmm. again, and there's nothing to backfill them. And the Turbo Machinery and Pump Symposium is taking all those people and say, Here, here's, here's some growth opportunity That's for right. you guys. So you, you come in. And I see that a lot. So there's rotational engineer programs that people have going on here. I know Pumpworks has one, mm -hmm. so DXB has one. So um, this industry is ripe for, not change, but for new building, blood, yeah, building, coming in, yeah, right? yeah, and so uh, with we think about TPS and really, how can we talk about you know being at this show and and really you know I'm looking out right now at like the show floor and just walking, connecting with people. We can't mm -hmm. do that at any other show um, like this for our industry and, and and really as a whole, what do we need to do to to facilitate those conversations? But what you're saying is TPS is doing that for us. So yep. attend, yep. be engaging. You know, we gave some tips at the very beginning of our day of yep. how to, you know, work a trade show and, yep. and really stay well, hydrated. Yeah, that was number one, right? <laughs> uh, drink, drink and eat. Uh, but but definitely, you know, look for those opportunities to yeah. participate at TPS. Well, that's the thing. And you see it. There's like these little, it's like Christmas when you come down here. So there's a BB3, there's a BB5, there's a BB1, there's a turbo expander. And they got all this stuff down there, which is cool that you can put your hands on. You know, I don't think people think that's sexy, but to engineers, they think that's sexy, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Like, oh, a 10 stage. Yes. Oh, I wonder what kind of pressure that can output, right? So um, that's the kind of stuff I think people, and you, the people who know about this, know about it. And I think right. what we need to do as marketers is to, to get that goodwill out there with people to see like, yeah, you know, the midstream, upstream, downstream is sort of a sexy kind of thing because without all that stuff, we don't have gasoline or That's power right. or any of that kind of stuff. So, you know, it, it's integral. You know, everybody takes for granted it's a light bulb and you just expect it to go on all That's the time. That's right. So, and I'm not equating the industry to light bulbs, <laughs> but, you know. It's yeah, but, but we need them, right? We, we need uh, pumps and equipment. Uh, we can't live our Pipelines, lives without that. you need that. engineers, yes, right? Yes, yes. You need a lot of them. And, and they actually are here to, to be that voice and be able to talk to people as they come up. So definitely ask them. I think one of my favorite things was going up to an engineer, uh, kind of, you know, straight, you know, maybe it's their first trade show or something, and asking them a question. Yeah. If it was their product, they came to life, right? right and right. it was so great oh, I know to this. see them. Yes. They gave me all the key points, yes. so here I've I go. Got, I'm going to hit the list. Let me tell all of this. It's <laughs> so, it's so great. And, you yeah. know, um, yeah, just so embrace that. So, uh, Andy, uh, I really appreciate you coming no, by. I appreciate and, it. It's good to see you again. Yes, and um, thanks for your help in, you know, making Palm sexy and attractive industry, oh, yeah. right? Uh, we definitely want to, to keep people here, uh, recruit people into our workforce. Yeah. So, um, yeah, is there anything else kind of on your mind? Uh, I, uh, I'm just looking forward to the Asia Turbo Machinery coming yeah. up. It's going to be in Kuala Lumpur this year. I'm, I'm looking forward to going to that. And then next year, it's bigger and better. 
So every year I come, it's, it gets a little bit bigger, a little bit better, and it's, it's pretty cool. Awesome. I love the discussion groups. So yes. Now, mm -hmm. have, so actively participating in the discussion groups yeah. and then, you know, celebrating. You know, we're all here today to celebrate the 35 years of this event. So, super excited about that. Where were you 35 years ago? Uh, yeah, a little bitty. <laughs> a little bitty. So, uh, yeah, but I've learned a lot since then. That's key, right? That's true. So, yeah. well, thank you, Andy. Pleasure. I really appreciate yeah, it. And, yeah, stuff. good luck. Continue to see you here. Then. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you.